In this video tutorial, I want to be going through how to make this sliding card effect with Elementor Pro. We're going to need zero plugins. It's a very, very simple tutorial. I'm only going to need a few custom CSS codes. So for this tutorial, all we're going to need is Elementor and Elementor Pro. And that is the only plugins we will need for this tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to open up our sections. I'm going to open here with two columns. We're going to go to section one and give it a width of 13, 13. And we're going to go give it a height of, I'm just going to go to height and we're going to leave it at 400. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to add in our heading over here. Going to add in a text editor. And then I'm also going to add in a button. And I'm going to go with background. And I'm going to give this a navy background with a color that I have saved. To this one right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type meet our team i'm going to change the color of this to white and i'm also going to change the font to poppins i'm going to go on uppercase i'm going to give it 700 and i'm going to give it a height of 40. And then we're going to go here down and we're going to change the color to white and we're going to give it a font of poppins. I'm going to give it a strength of 500. I'm going to give it a size of 20. We'll go 18 maybe. 16. I think 16 looks right. So yeah, so we'll go a height of uh, 16. I mean a uh, font size of 16. And then here we're just going to click uh, learn more. And I'm going to change the color to a gradient color. I'm going to color this one in black. Oh no, not sorry, not black. I'm going to give it a light blue. Same blue, but a little bit darker. Now we're going to go with the font and we're also going to give the font of Poppins. I'm going to give it a strength of 600. I'm going to go uppercase. I'm going to give it a size of 20. Sorry, 17. I'm going to give it a size of 20, 20 and we're going to uh, push this button a little bit up just so there's not too much gap between the text editor and also the button. So we're going to go here and we're going to go gonna leave that at minus 25 and then we see that's much much closer together so now what we're gonna do here in the other section is we're going to go back here and we'll go to intersection we're gonna remove this one right there and now we're gonna add in our image into this section so we're gonna add in our image we're gonna add in this one here so now we're gonna go to width Gonna leave that as 16. Gonna go height. Leave that 64. And what we're gonna do now is where it says object fit, we're going to go onto cover. And now we're gonna go to radius, and I'm gonna give this a uh, percentage, and I'm gonna go 100. And now I'm going to adjust our thing a little bit more. I'm gonna leave it at, and I'm gonna give it more height. second okay so now that we have added that we're going to add in our um the right section we're going to add in the little box with just saying the name and the button into the slides like that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to this column i'm going to color it in white in the background and I'm going to go over to our image box and type up image box I'm going to put it underneath so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove our image we're going to delete the image because we don't need the image and we're just going to write the name so we're just going to write David I don't know just David David Flink So now we're just going to write that and then we're going to write in over here UI 
designer okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in our um, text so I'm going to go over to the heading I'm going to change that one to back I'm going to go with poppins I'm going to leave it at 600 semi bold I'm going to change the height I'm going to go over to uppercase and now I'm going to um, the spacing between the heading and the the description of the person's role I'm just going to shorten it down to two and I'm gonna go to description gonna color that in back as well and I'm going to give it a font of poppins and I'm gonna reduce the size and increase the weight to 500 medium so now what we're also going to do is add in our button gonna add in our button just here gonna change that to learn or I'm just gonna change it to follow me and we're going to color in our button radius I mean with the gradient filter I'm gonna go over to this blue over here I'm gonna go over to the other one color that one in blue and I'm gonna just go down like that now we're gonna change the font Gonna change the poppins 600 uppercase and i'm going to increase that so we're going to put it there to 50. so now i want all of this to be left aligned and i want it all to be in line so that's what we're going to get into next in this tutorial so what i'm going to do is we're going to put this all to going to put it left it's going to left align all of these it's going to put that to left also and then that's already left so now what we're going to do for all of the elements we're going to go to advance we're going to go to width and we're going to go in line for all of these I'm going to go in line and i'm going to go in line for the button as well now we can see our image uh, has a little bit of a problem so what we're going to do is go back to image going to increase the width and there so now what I'm also going to do with the image is I'm going to go over to box shadow and I'm just going to leave it there as the default one when you turn on box shadow. So now as you can see this is all two clustered in together so we're going to go to our um, column but first and foremost we're going to go over to padding and I'm going to make sure that the padding is on zero on all sides and then we're going to go to our column we're going to go to vertical align and we're going to click on um, middle and then for horizontal line we're going to go to space between great so now we can see that um this is there's space between but obviously these need to be closer in together so we're going to go into our column and then we're first before we do that we're also going to go over and we're just going to change the radius all around our column so i'm going to go so we're going to go to percentage we're going to go to 100 all around so we're going to leave that pixel 100 all around and what I'm going to do is see how that looks real quick okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with our image and I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to margins and I'm going to go to left I'm going to leave it as that and then we're going to go back to our column and we're going to go back to border I'm going to go to radius I'm going to unlink these and then for the left side, I'm going to cancel that. No, sorry, not this side. For the right side, we're going to cancel that. And we're going to put it to 20. And for the top, we're going to cancel that. For the bottom, we're going to cancel that. And we're going to go to 20 also. great just like that so now we're going to make sure our text is closer to the image and our button is not as close to the edge as possible so that's what we're going to get straight into now so now what we're going to do we're going to go straight to our text and we're going to go to position and we're going to go over to absolute now we're going to go to horizontal rotation i'm going to leave it down there to 85 seems about right 93 going to go down 
see how that looks perfect and now for the button what we're going to do is we're going to go over to column and we're going to go to padding i'm going to unlink this and if we're right we're going to give this 20 and now we can see how that looks perfect but now for the image what i want to do is i just want to go over to our margins just give it a little bit more maybe to this side and just like that that's perfect there so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this so that we can also see so we can add in the other ones and we could change it before we get the sliding effect and what i'm also going to do is just this is just personal just to see if i can do this going to go to padding going to go to button i mean bottom going to give that three go top and give that three also and we can see that looks much better so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this a few times and we're going to change them and then we're also going to um, add in our css codes and our html codes to get these the sliding uh, effect so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to our intersection i'm going to click that and we're going to duplicate it so now i'm going to go to our second one i'm going to change our image i'm going to change it to this one over here i'm going to change this one's name to one second just change to jason and i'm going to go to project manager so i'm going to go down to our third one i'm going to put it on this image and I'm going to change his name to Raphael. These are just random names, anyways. And I'm going to change this one to Developer. I'm going to change to Backend Developer. And Developer. And I'm going to duplicate this just one more time. I'm going to put in change our image. Did this one over here. Sorry about the background anyways, there's some work getting done. Don't know if you guys can hear it. But anyways, I'm going to change the name to Rachel. If that's how you spell Rachel. And I'm going to change this one to Social Media Manager. So perfect. So now, so now we're going to go to this column over here. We're going to put in our CSS class. We're going to go to Sliding. And then we're going to go to custom CSS and we're going to get our code for this. So we're going to go over here. This is in a Word document. This is going to be in the link in my to my website where I'm going to put in the code and it will be in the description. So, sorry, we're going to go back here. I'm going to go to custom CSS. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to copy it. So now we see nothing over here, but that's no problem. So what we're going to do is go to add element. I'm going to go to HTML. I'm going to add in this one. And now we're going to add in our HTML code. Again, this won't be in the description, but I'm going to copy that over here. Going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in here. And here we have it. Thank you for making it to the end of this tutorial. I hope it was easy for you guys to follow. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit on the post notifications so you guys know when next one I upload with another tutorial video. Thank you.